So let's say you find yourself in a situation where you are doing some work on uh, your Linux box and uh, for some reason your your uh, workload requires a very fast hard drive and your hard drive is just too slow. So let's say maybe you have a, uh, a rust platted hard drive or even a SATA SSD and it's just not quick enough for your needs. Um, what you can do is create yourself a temporary file system inside your actual RAM itself and uh, that'll be much faster. So if we look at my system, uh, my RAM that I've got available here, it says I've got 6.2 gigabyte available and uh, so I can create a RAM drive up to approximately you know, 6 gigabyte because that's what I've got available. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to create two RAM drives and the reason for that is I want to show you the speed of copying between them and so forth as well. And uh, the first thing we do is we need to create ourselves a uh, directory in which we're going to mount our new file system to. So by convention, we uh, stick that into our MNT directory. So if we create the, uh, I'm going to call that RAM drive one, and uh, then I'm also going to create RAM drive two. All right, and then I'm going to create a RAM drive two as well. So inside my MNT directory, I've got now two subdirectories, RAM drive one and RAM drive two. And now we can actually go ahead and actually create a RAM drive. And uh, so as sudo, we uh, run mount and we specify the type as being tempfs for temporary file system. And then dash O because you want to specify an option and our option is the size. I'm going to make it uh, 2 gig, uh, 2 gigabytes in size, and I'm going to call it RAM Drive 1, and it gets mounted to the RAM Drive 1 directory. And uh, But you'll, you'll notice here, so I've got 6.2 gig available. When I now mount my 2 gig RAM Drive, I'm still on 2 gig, uh, on 6.2 gig available, okay, because it hasn't actually used that RAM yet. All right, you'll, you'll notice that it's updating here every one second. So you'll notice this change as I start using it. All right, now we need to also create our second RAM drive. And I'm going to call that RAM drive 2 with the same settings, 2 gig, 2 gig. So I've used a total, or I'm going to use a total of 4 gig of my RAM here. But uh, it still doesn't indicate that I've used it yet. Now I do have a temporary file that I created here that just consists of random bytes. So if I just do a LL here. Um, there's random bytes and it's 1.5 gig in size. So in order to check our speed, what I'm going to do is I'm currently on this hard drive, which I call extended data. Um, it's a normal platted hard drive. I'm going to copy that file to another platted hard drive and let's time it. I'm just going to stick it in my home on the other platted hard drive. I'll just call it R and let's time that. All right, so it took 5.6 seconds. Now I'm going to do the same copy, but I'm going to be sticking it into my first RAM drive. So I point to the mount directory, and uh, it's RAM drive 1, and again, we we'll call it R, all right? So from 5.6 seconds, we're going to now drop down to, now uh, keep your eye on this 6.2 gig here, and uh, there it's already changed and that took two and a half seconds all right so that's more than double the speed all right but that's not necessarily the end of it remember we had to read from a slow platted hard drive and copy all that data into ram so we still had to read that slow hard drive now what we're going to do is we're going to copy from ram to ram from ram drive to ram drive so yeah where i'm saying copy random bytes I'm going to copy our file that we stuck into RAM Drive 1. I'm going to now copy that into RAM Drive 2 and uh, also just call it R. All right. But now, remember, we've used RAM Drive 1, so our RAM dropped a little bit. Now we're going to be using RAM Drive 2 as well, and then our RAM drop will drop uh, another little bit. And let's time that. And that is 1.2 seconds. And that is even f uh, faster then. So we, we drop from 5.6 seconds all the way down to 1.2 seconds. And uh, it's really dependent on what your system is doing in the background as well. I've seen it go up into or, or down into 0.5 seconds, 0.4 seconds around there. So it's way faster. Um, but let's just copy that again and see what happens. 
Okay, so this time is sitting around about 1.2 seconds. So that's quite a bit faster, but um, this is a very, very old system that I've got here, and uh, you could find speeds that are even faster than that. Now, again, keep your eye on this available here. So this is 3.3 gigs, okay, that I've got available. If I now unmount these file systems, okay, you can stick them into FS tab, of course, if you want them to be auto-created when you start up your system. Uh, we're not doing that today. So if I do an unmount, um, sudo u mount and it's going to be our mounted file system our first one so it's ram drive one and you'll notice it moved from 3.3 .3 to 4.7 available and now we'll do ram drive two again and we should be back at six point something gig available and there we are 6.2 gig available so we created two ram drives copied uh, from uh, a platter into ram drive one and then from ram drive one to ram drive two now of course i mean if you're using it as a scratch disk for instance a lot of the work that you're doing uh, with the application that you're using is obviously running in ram already and uh, it's then writing out to uh, you know uh, files and so forth to your scratch disk your ram drive in other words so it'll be very, very fast. You're not going to be copying from a hard drive to your RAM drive. You're going to be working probably from RAM directly to RAM. So it should be very, very fast for whatever you're doing. All right, so we've done an unmount, and uh, the system is back to normal again. All right, guys, nice and quick. See you next time. Bye.